Hello, lovely friends. Candace B here. Thank you so much for coming to my channel, for coming back to my channel, for being new here and stopping and taking time out of your day just to watch me. I appreciate it. And I hope this video is helpful for you or even any of my other videos on my channel. I hope they're helpful and I hope you are just doing absolutely amazing. I hope that just today you woke up on the bright side and that the rest of your day is just super fulfilling. And today we are back with another trading video, another FDMO challenge video. I hope you guys aren't getting too bored of them right now, but essentially my goal is just to document me hopefully passing both the challenge phase and the verification phase of my $10,000 FDMO challenge account and going from there. But I really want to do it with intention, with wisdom. I don't want to rush it. So yeah, there will probably be quite a few videos on it, but we're trading in general. So, you know, it's nice just to be able to trade for you guys and you guys are holding me accountable. So I really appreciate that. I appreciate every comment that I get, every question, um, and just, you know, sharing what has happened with you in the market, how your trading day went and whatnot. I appreciate it all. And today's video is essentially a compilation of both Monday and Tuesday trading. So Monday, July 22nd and Tuesday, July 23rd, two days worth of trading. So I hope you enjoy. And that being said, let us get into this video. Okay, friends. So it is Monday, July 22nd right now. It is actually 9.59 a.m. So we have just a couple of seconds left until we get the 10 a.m. candle. And um, we see a lot of bullish movement right now with the NAS 100, but there's a huge pullback happening. So Let's go to Forex Factory. There's no news. Wow, I've, I've never seen it like this. There's literally, oh yeah, there's no news for Monday. Okay, let's see what the stocks are saying. Okay, we have a lot of stocks that are up for the day. Less, less stocks that are down. So that's um, a confluence that price might be pushing up. So let's see what we can understand from what price action is doing right now so right away i see that actually let me clear the charts because i haven't cleared my previous weeks so as we can see um here we do have this bullish structure happening that's been happening since i would say yeah since london session for sure just want to see what the one hour is doing it closed very bullish and it closed above these levels so right now I would definitely say my bias for right now is um, bullish but we'll we will see what happens I may just have to wait until maybe 10 30 to take a trade or 11 because price is rejecting this area right here this um, this zone this I guess supply zone but it, it had already pushed above it and then it came back down so there's this huge top wick here you can see on the on the one hour it's the 40 minute or the four hour showing i mean when i do zoom out when i zoom out and i see the four hour we are technically still um respecting this lower high lower low structure price just came back up to retest this i guess same high the previous high um I don't know, maybe there might be a chance for it to go down, but this also can be a reversal right here. It really just depends on what price ends up doing right here. This is going to be like a pivotal area on the five minute. Um, yeah, we see from what we saw the one hour, how that there was a huge top wick. This was that one hour top wick. Essentially, it price had broken up above this zone closed above it and now pulled back but now it's breaking below it so for me right now there is no trade price hasn't shown me what it wants to do right now so i'm not going to just jump into a trade just because um i really want to wait and see what the the true bias is and where we can get in and where our stop loss could be i could see how sells from this area for sure would be would have been really good um, because price had tapped into this area a couple of times. If I were to have drawn out. Drawn this level out here. 
But where would I have gotten in, I guess, the break of this candle? I guess? I don't know. That's not my... The stop loss would be too high as well. Because if I would want to put my stop loss above the previous structure, that's about a 67 point stop loss. I don't think shorts right now would have made sense for me personally. Obviously to each their own. Right now I am still looking for a long position. Um, my bias is to go long but I need to see more confluences. Um, let's see here, we have this zone here. This makes more sense on the five minute. If price can re-tap into this zone, get a bit further down here and reject it, um, I could be looking for a long position there because this is a, a demand area right here. And my stop loss would make more sense in this area. If I see price close in this area and it closes bearish, I'm not going to take a buy. I need to see some sort of bullish uh, sentiment um, to give me more of a reason to enter. So it's 10.14 a.m. right now with about 52 seconds left until we get a 10.15 candle. And as you can see, price has beautifully just rejected this area. Um, I was contemplating getting in for a, a long position right there, but um, I didn't. So let's see what happens if we can get a, um, a nice bearish close. Because the thing is with the four hour, even though lower high, lower st low structure is still being respected, the fact that price had enough volume or like the bulls had enough strength to create a same high here. Um, who knows? That could be a break of structure potentially. So I would love to see what happens if we get a little, we'll probably enter a long position soon. Just need a little bit of a pull back. If you're going to give that to me, NASDAQ, I would really appreciate that. Or are you just going to take off? <laughs> These are the times where it's like, you got to be patient sucks when you see your initial trade taking off literally <laughs> this probably would have already been a one-to-one -one. this probably would have definitely already been a one-to-one -one. we're gonna hopefully enter soon guys hopefully <laughs> hopefully we will enter soon just give me a little bit of a pullback like a little bit further down here let's see what happens okay we got that pullback in Let's see if now we're going to, let's see if price is going to now push up. The further it pushes down before pushing up is good. Okay, bye. <laughs> I'm in a long position now. So I got in at 19.754.15 at 10.17. Stop loss is going to be under these levels here. Dang, if it pushes all the way down, that's rude. Stop loss is at 19,707.5. I might have to put my stop loss a little bit under, actually. I think my stop loss being under here would make a lot more sense. At 19,696.9. <laughs> that's a funny number. Price has been unable to break below this just yet. Or if price tapped into this level and rejected it. Putting um, the stop loss below that area would be good because if it does break, then we know it's very invalid in that moment. Um, but let's see, price can definitely just surge right, right on down and respect the four hours, you know, respect the same high level and just push all the way back down. Um, it could also, you know close with a bearish candle but then start pushing up after that on different time frames on the 30 minute or on the 15 or the 5. Um, it could do a lot of things but right now you know as I see on the 15 I like what this looks like. I like the rejection of the candlesticks, the lower wicks I like. Um, I really like what it looks like on the 15 minute right now with the lower wicks here rejecting this zone. Also by the way my risk is lowered right now in terms of just the positions, I've only taken one position as opposed to two. You guys saw me last week taking two positions, but it's a Monday, you know, we can ease into the market. Um, so I'm just gonna take one 
position, especially also because my stop loss is a bit wider. Um, I'm totally fine with just being in one position right now and having both my stop loss and my take profit set at a one to one. So it's 1029 AM right now. And as you can see, we got a nice cute little push to the upside here and we're about to close this candle in three seconds. 10.30 a.m. candle's gonna start. Let me just see the 30 minute candle here. Very lovely, very lovely close with um, just another huge lower wick, basically mimicking the 10 a.m. or the 9.30 a.m. lower wick. Um, a lot of rejection. We're getting nice rejections. We are definitely getting really nice rejections. So now let's turn bullish. Thank you. Let's turn bullish. <laughs> if this candle can close bullish, if this five minute candle can close bullish, that would be lovely. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Yep. Price is right. Take profit is right there. Not much to go. Just a couple more points, about 30 more points. <laughs> I'm just talking to the charts again. Just talking to the charts. Okay, girl. I see you, Nasdaq girl. I see you want to push, girl. So just do it. Let's do it, girl. Let us push. 1025. All right. So we got that bullish uh, close for 1030s candle. So 1035 now. If you pull back, I'm going to be so annoyed. There is absolutely no reason why... We should be pulling back, bro. What? This is such a trip. This is an area that price would have a little bit of an issue reaching. So that's understandable. We're breaking through. It did it at 9 a.m. Like it did it for the 9 a.m. candle. But if we can't get that same momentum push, then we might have to just understand that price doesn't want to give it to us right now. I don't know. Now I actually, I'm actually curious to see if price is going to get a bit of strength. It did break above here. Like we see that we see this, this wick there that broke above the zone. But the question is, can it break above and stay above the zone? That is the question. We have a minute and 10 seconds left for this 1035 AM candle. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. You, no, you got it, Naz. Listen, do you need me to motivate you? You got it. You have every ability to hit this take profit. You got it. I believe in you. Just a couple more pushes. You are right there. Yes. And you're going to take off after that. Push. Do it. You got it. Naz, I believe in you. There we go. I believed in you and you came through. Thank you so much. 57 points for this nice sunny Monday. Not bad. And yeah, now, you know, price might just continue pushing up or, you know, it might skyrocket. And guess what? We don't care. It's none of our business because we're out of the trade. Price very well might just come up to this, um, fill this previous wick, this previous one hour um top wick and then just boom push down but yeah that was a that was a solid trade we we persevered we stayed calm and we got we got our, our 57 points and we are happy and we're grateful for what the market gave us and now we are gonna go enjoy the rest of the day it's 10 40 a.m i'm gonna hit the gym i will see you guys tomorrow good morning it is now tuesday july 23rd it is 10 7 a.m and we are back on the charts. We are looking at NAS 100 as usual. And we're seeing a good, good push to the upside. Um, let's quickly just check Forex Factory here. Nothing too crazy in terms of news. Um, and let's check the stocks for right now. What are these NAS 100 stocks saying? Looks like there's a pretty equal amount, maybe a little bit more stocks that are down for the day a little bit but not too much of a difference um not too sure if that will you know be anything that would control the bias overall because right now i'm seeing price is essentially reversing so yesterday we saw that um 
we took a long position here um, around it was what after around the 10 15 a.m uh time price had pushed up then it ended up pushing all the way back down below the zone and it's been kind of up and down a little bit since then new york and london session was actually sorry not new york and london asian and london session was actually trending we see some lower high lower low structure on the five minute time frame during asian session and then we see this reversal happen to the upside so i'm just going to delete this zone here we're going to keep things as clean as possible we're going to obviously redraw our zones so uh right away what i can see right now most recently price had just come down here so uh, i started looking at the charts around 9 50 a.m and i saw this uh big candlestick being formed um i didn't want to take any position just yet because i didn't know if price was wanting to drop further maybe to um you know this level here or what it wanted to do so i just thought obviously it'd be wise to wait 23 seconds before the 10 10 a.m candle starts i want to see if this closes bullish if it does we will probably take a long position um so we will kind of prepare for that all right so we're in this trade now i entered at 19848.15 um stop loss we would want it to be down here i'll admit this wasn't the best entry but because of how strong that last five minute candle closed um that gave me confidence and momentum and plus we did get that we got a pullback and we got this um liquidity grab so if we have enough strength we can push to the upside and get uh around a one to one on the four hour though we see that there is clearly that um, change of momentum so before i think we were looking at price creating lower high lower low structure was it on the one hour there was something i was mentioning yesterday where a same high or a, yeah a same lower high was created so there was lower high lower low lower high lower low and then it came up and made a same lower high i don't know how to describe it but basically it didn't make a lower low at that point and we wanted to see what price really wanted to do at that point i think it was around this area but yes, as we can see now, um, structure is being broken. There's no more lower high, lower low structure on the one hour when we're looking at this area here. We see that now, I guess for people who like, you know, patterns and whatnot, maybe this kind of looks like a inverted head and shoulders, something like that. I don't know. I don't really focus on those type of pattern names and whatnot. But um, yeah, we see that price is starting to um, break previous structures. So here we had the last kind of area where price was creating lower high, lower low structure um, just at the start of London session. And then as you can see, it broke it here and then it started creating higher, low, higher, high structure. Price did pull back um, and then it kind of just continued creating new highs. So right now there's a nice rejection here from this zone. We also had this area here that price was rejecting from. We might have entered a little bit too early. You know, price might pull back a little bit more. It might come back into this zone. If we do come back into this zone, I think this would be a better opportunity for long positions. So we'll see. If my stop loss gets hit, I may look to re-enter at this level if um if it makes sense if structure makes sense and if we see you know rejection in this area and then we see you know a bullish candlestick form here and you know if everything lines up essentially but the 30 minute is looking actually a lot more clear than the five minute looks to me right now when i zoom out on the four hour it just to me there looks like there's a lot of potential there but i'm trying not to predict what price wants to do i'm really just trying to see what it's doing and take it as <laughs> from what i see you know take what i see and use that use that information all right so it's now 10 30 a.m and it's not looking good bruv it's not looking good price is trying it's best to push up but it is not <laughs> it's not working I think we might come back down to here, honestly. 
I think we just might. Alrighty guys, so I actually ended up closing out the trade as you can see. Price is just not wanting to push up much more right now. So I actually closed out at 19.801.85 and I closed out just right at 10.38 a.m. All good in the hood. Yeah, my confidence in the trade just kind of started to decrease. Um, the probability started to lower. So I really do believe that price um, wants to make kind of further pullbacks before it wants to go up again. So we'll see. It's just 10.40 a.m. right now. So, you know, there might be another setup today that we can catch. If not, totally fine. So now it is 10.55 a.m. and I knew it. I knew price was going to want to come back down to this level here. And I think this is a good area to take a buy, to be honest with you. So we're going to take a buy. <laughs> we're going to take a buy because what I wanted to do was I wanted to wait to see how price was going to close in this area. And because it closed, first of all, the 10.45 a.m. candle came down, tapped it and pulled back a little bit. And then the 10.50 a.m. candle um, pushed down, tapped further into the zone, and then pulled back up and then closed as a doji. So I felt confident with this 10.55 a.m. candle to get in on a long position. And I got in specifically at um, 19.784.35. Yeah. And my stop loss would be right under this level, which I feel a lot more comfortable with um, when it comes to just the entry level versus my last one where it was kind of in the zone. I feel more comfortable with it being at this level here because when you look left, there's, there's very empty space here. So price, I feel like, is less likely to come down here when there's nothing really there. Whereas up here, price had a lot of things on this side to retest, retest, retest. So um, I prefer this entry for sure. I feel a lot more confident with it. Um, we go for a one-to-one -one as always, um, but there is potential to definitely trail our stop and see where price takes us. My stop loss though is at um, 19.747.8 and right now the take profit is at 19.821.7. I'm going to just delete this zone here so we kind of keep things as nice and clear as possible. Let me move this little number up. And so we'll see what happens at this point. In terms of if I were to want to change my bias, not necessarily because for me I have this kind of unwritten rule to give my bias just two chances for sure especially if i'm taking two trades which is my limit per day anyway so give my bias two chances um to play out unless there are clear circumstances where it's like very evident that we're taking that that price is wanting to go in the opposite direction for example if we did break below this area and you know i was waiting and lower high lower low structure started forming if we saw you know a break to the downside a close a nice clear close and we have this bearish doji let's say um then yes taking shorts would make more sense but price is still respecting um this demand zone so i'm not going to take a short especially here <laughs> and then obviously price reverses so the 11 a.m candle is about to open in 23 seconds so we'll see how that goes hopefully we get a nice push to the upside and then we can Secure a cute win for the day. A cute win. <laughs> I don't know how win a win is cute, but... <laughs> okay, and take profit one is about to be hit. 11.05 a.m. candle opened. Are we going to get a push? Because I don't know now. Now you're, now you're really tweaking. We might have to move our stop loss to break even now, honey. Yeah, let's do that. Why not? Might as well secure, you know, ourselves. We've already taken one loss today. We don't need to take another. So let's just secure it. And if it hits our stop loss, all good. Yeah, we got that one to one. So now our stop loss is already at break even. So let's see if we can, um, if price will be wanting to come back up to this area where it previously was. Um, 
mind you, I'm in one. I took one position for this first trade and I took one position for this trade too. I'm not, today is not a day for that I feel comfortable with um, stacking my my trades or you know adding more positions and that's perfectly fine we definitely have potential to push up strongly like once we get past once we get past this area here it's obviously it's just it's probably gonna fly up but um because the next area would be kind of in the one hour could be around 19950 kind of area like this whole bubble here i will come back once we've exited where we've exited and then yeah we'll be done for the day until tomorrow so yes i will be right back sit tight do not leave do not click out of this video womp 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 <laughs> we did not win that trade unfortunately guys that took a turn that took a 180 turn <laughs> there was so much potential but yeah now it's 10 it's uh 12 28 p.m and as you can see, we got a beautiful push. We got a beautiful push to the upside. We were breaking these levels here, these um, these levels here, and then price pushed up. And then as you can see, it pushed down. And honestly, I wasn't really expecting that because of the size of these candlesticks. I was expecting these bearish candlesticks because they were so small. I was expecting it just to be a pullback and you know continue to the upside but unfortunately it pushed further down and we ended up um taking an, a break even trade and that's how it goes you know i had the choice to exit up here i had the choice to exit here i had the choice to exit here but i held on to my trade and let it play out and it ended up reversing and hitting my break my stop loss at break even so definitely important to have a stop loss i can't stress that enough it's very important to have a stop loss um in every circumstance when i go to the higher time frames eh, it's looking pretty indecisive you know we have a bullish candle then a bearish then a bullish and a bearish we don't really see much structure right now price is still respecting this demand zone and there could be a chance that you know we're just rejecting one more time before pushing all the way up but at this point we are out of the trade so it's none of our business and we end with a little bit of a loss today and that is okay either way i have to accept my decisions that i that i've chosen in the market nobody else chooses these decisions for us so we can't be mad that you know the market reversed or the market did something that we were not expecting it to do because the market doesn't care about our decisions. So we have to be wise enough to make these decisions and then also to accept the decisions. So I accept the fact that price was in a lot of profits, you know, over 72 points, you know, at one point I got to a hundred points profit and price completely reversed. Um, I was a bit naive in that moment because I didn't think that that would have happened right at that moment. I didn't think that price was going to completely reverse, but it did. So what now? We keep it moving and we count the positives in the situation. The positive being one, I had my stop loss at break even. Two, I did not double up on the trade. I did not like, you know, enter on impulse, enter more positions because I would have been literally double the loss. And three, we are still up for the week, even though it's just a little bit, you know, we had our 57 point a trade from yesterday and then we had our loss today and then a break even so it is what it is there are a lot of things to be grateful for in this way and i'm proud of myself for having this mindset because this these are moments where fomo takes over fear of missing out takes over like a beast and the desire to always feel like you need to be right in the market so you know the desire to want to re-enter and i know a lot of people can relate to that you know, seeing your trade go against you after, you know, a second entry and then you want to enter a third entry. But my strategy, my plan is that I only enter two trades maximum per day. So I'm not going to re-enter another trade. I don't care if it's going to shoot back up. There's always tomorrow. There's always Thursday. There's always Friday. There's always next week. There's always next month. It is not a big deal. This is not going to define or change my whole life if I just close the charts now and I keep it moving. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of share my mindset and where I am mentally because it's lovely to always win trades. It's great. It's beautiful. But losing days are a part of trading. 
And it really all comes down to your mindset after you lose the trade. What are you going to do next? I'm really grateful for how it played out today. You know, when I feel level headed, I feel perfectly fine and I can go just continue life because life does not end when you lose a trade. I hope this video was informative for anybody who is just in their trading journey. They might be struggling or they're doing well and they might be getting anxiety thinking that, oh no, a big loss is coming. Just always think positive and if that loss, if and when that loss comes, make sure you manage it well. You know, that's all we can do is manage our trade wisely, manage our losses wisely and move forward from that. Tomorrow's another day. If I choose to trade tomorrow, cool. You know, we'll see. And, you know, there might be another losing day. We don't know, but we're going to go into it positively. We're going to follow our trading plan and we're going to manage our psychology. And that's all we can do. So, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Go help someone today. You know, lend a helping hand, smile at somebody, do something that will help other people be positive as well. So let's try to spread as much cheer and positivity as we can. And until we meet again, my beautiful friends, I hope you have a phenomenal excellent flourishing i keep running out of words just tremendous day week and life